That's a beautiful highway right there. Nice, beautiful blue sky. Until you get a blowout. We're going to talk about it next. back man let's take a look at this let's get on about this thing all right we got oncoming traffic well we did have it we don't have it anymore all right so y'all see what my student nah, died student didn't do it dylan was in the sleeper bird sleeping i was driving and uh that's what happens man it, all, it ain't always pretty peachy out here you know what i mean it ain't always like that okay so it's the circumstance we're dealing with man when trucking takes a bad turn, but anyway, the load looking real nice. Got my cross straps on the onions right here. You now, letting them breathe because you gotta let these onions breathe. So that's why the tarp is not on them. But when it starts raining, you gotta pull the tarp down to let it dry. Yeah. All right. So today was a good day, and we run into these situations like this when you're out here. Okay. So the tire blew. Going down the highway. I-94 and the tire blew. I looked in the mirror and uh, at first I thought, I was like, man, is it my load? I hope I didn't lose anything. And all I saw was a bunch of debris, tire flying everywhere, all that stuff. So, you know, it's not always pretty out here in trucking. These kind of things do happen. As you guys can see everybody, this is a recap tire. That's why I don't really like recap tires, but hey, this Prime's trailer, Prime pays for the maintenance on this trailer, and they paying for this tire as well. So, you know how much this cost me? It cost me nothing. Only thing that's going to cost me is time, because I have to wait for road assist to get here. But, this is what a recap looks like, guys. Okay, you guys want to get a look at it. So you guys can say the tire that blew off it, as you guys can see it right here. It ain't nothing. But basically glued or stitched on and it's a recap okay i don't like recaps can't stand them i'd rather have original tires but hey you know companies like to to recap them and uh put them on back down the road i'm so thankful that you're not allowed to recap uh drives and steers <laughs> boy but trailers i guess you can so whenever you guys see all that kind of debris that be on the highways which we call those alligator skins. Yeah, that's tires from being blown, but that's a recap tire. And the tire blew up so badly that it damaged the skirt on the trailer, okay? Damaged the skirt, as you can see, a portion of that is blown off and hanging down. So, as you may ask, well, where is it? Let's see if I can get close in here down here. We got traffic coming. You guys see all that debris down there? Yeah. Basically, it was a uh, huge explosion from the tire bursting. But that's what you get when you get recaps, okay? So we need to start a, a, a movement towards no recaps. Yeah. You guys can see, man, this tire back here is a recap as well. So this is what a recap looks like when, let me get you guys out the sun. This is what a recap looks like when it's recapped and it's, and it's rolling. Let me see, there we go. So you guys see this line right here, man? Yeah, that's a recap, okay? And a recap this tire, put this tread up here, but this tire was already either low on tread or either blown and they just resurfaced it. When you resurface it and you recap it, you get this. You get this. Yeah. So, just say no to recaps. Look, the, 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 the. So here's my straps. My load's still secure though. You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all. Blew the tire, but the straps is still tight though. Okay, load ain't going nowhere. Look at that. Look at that. That's good securement right there, bro. That good securement right there. 
Dylan is about to throw out the triangles. It's proper procedure. We got our four ways on, and Dylan's about to show you guys how to set up the. How the hell these things actually work? Oh, geez. See, Dylan's getting his training on right now. There you go. All right, all right. So what you gotta do is turn it, yeah, sideways. There you go. Right. There you go. Click up, click up, bam. Roger. Now, do you know how many feet you're supposed to set those apart? Uh, Ten, a hundred, and two hundred. There you go. Look at that. Dylan knows something. Yeah. He knows something. You learn when you come to when you when you come to prime, <laughs> but you get recaps when you come too. So hey, what are you gonna do? All right, but the load is still secure, still strapped, man. Ain't nothing going on with it, man. Didn't lose a load. I ain't lost a load in my whole career of driving in three years. And uh, not going to lose this load either. But there it is. I mean, it blew so much. The tire blew up so bad, you can just see debris up here in the onions. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. And recap crap. Yep. But as you can see, man, it tire just flopping around and created marks and everything. To those, to those who say that LaShawn always talks positivity, nothing ever goes wrong out there. Yeah, stuff do go wrong. But that load is secured though. That's all I can tell you, man. The load is secured still. So, hey. But just showing you guys the blowout showing you guys the good the bad the ugly and um what we're dealing with man tire blowout just see it is what it is man you got to deal with it dylan went down there and he found he found the skirt for you guys he's recovering the wreckage dylan's recovering the wreckage from the tire blowout and here it is right here he put it back here on the back yeah man that's the chunk of the skirt that got blown off by the tire Yep, uh, that's what got blown off by the tire. But, like I said, nevertheless, the scenery is down there. We got the triangles up. So, hey, what are you gonna do? All right, so, just to let y'all know, the procedure that I took, the tire blew probably about a quarter mile down the street. As you guys can see, like I showed you guys pictures of what it's looking like down there. Uh, procedure I did, doing my four ways. Stay real calm about the situation. Pulled off to the side of the shoulder. Brought the truck to a complete stop. Uh, pulled the brakes. Left my four ways on. Contacted road assist. All right. So uh, I got some messages from them right now. I need to go back in the truck and, and figure out what the ETA time is and give them all the information that they need to get. But just to let you guys know, man, there is things like this that are unperceivable. You don't know that they're gonna happen. It's just part of trucking, man. So you deal with the good, you deal with the bad, you deal with the ugly, and you just sit back and you laugh and you enjoy it. I mean, y'all see my view right now, right? We, we out here by the mountains and everything. I mean, it's a beautiful view. Let me give y'all a panorama. It's a beautiful view. Even D Dylan's sitting right there. But yeah, it's a beautiful view, man. It's sunny day. We have nothing to worry about. Road Assist, Prime Road Assist is a great Road Assist team. They're going to get somebody out here to fix it. It cost me no money all it does is cost me time and i gotta sit here and i can't go nowhere anyway it's a, it's a blown tire so we're gonna go in there we're gonna set up the uh the rec tv get the satellite popping and um watch some tv and kick back and and let the uh, apu do what it do all right so whatever y'all do man y'all make sure y'all be safe hope this video was informational for you guys let you guys see that there is bad that happens out here on the road but even when there's bad out here on the road man we still smile about it you know what i mean because we still making money and we still we still living so it is what it is so with that being said man i'm gonna holler at you guys later winners chase winning losers chase winners think about it deuce deuce you do what you want when you pop it.